Okay. And we're back after grinding. So to show off what's happened... I went ahead and finished off Bard with Barris, just so I could have two people who can use Sing. <laughs> you can see it's done because of three stars over the head. And I swapped Golif and Ferris's jobs around, so now Ferris is the Dragoon, and Golif is the Bard. And I swapped their equipment. Ferris has the ability to sing. Golf has the ability to throw, and we're ready to move on. So, shortly north of the castle we just left is Quelb. Let me lower the music a little bit. Okay. The gate of Drakenvale is north of town, easy to find. The question is, will it be open? Well... As you can see, nothing's open right now. Everything seems to be locked. No good. It's locked tight. Figured as much. Guess we better find Helger. It's locked! Halt! You have encroached far enough. Surrounded. Hmm, well... If it's a fight you want, then... Barts, calm down. They are our allies. If our allies are pointing blades at us, I certainly don't want to meet our enemies. Oh, Golf. Kelger. It's been quite a while, has it not? Sure has. Ah, Kelger's here. Ah, Kelger here is one of the four Dawn Warriors. He fought X-Death with you 30 years ago? Who are the younglings? Folks from the world where we sealed X-Death. Friends of X-Death? Huh? Wait! These cads are the ones who destroyed the crystals and brought X-Death back! And you've led them here? You've got it all wrong! Listen! Stand down, Golof! Alright, that was kind of a uh, pathetic of you, Golof. Barts, or whoever you are, prepare yourself. I would test your blade. Kelger, crony of X-Death or no, show me what kind of man you really are. Stand down, I got this, ladies. No, stay back. I've got to settle this man to man. Still, where am I? High heels! Huh? Let's see how you handle my lupine attack. Stop tickling me! It's creepy! I'm glad he had plenty of time to focus. There you are! Whoosh. Farts! I told you not to hurt him! Oops. Sorry about that, Kelger. Hell's bells, Kelger. Always overdoing it. Why don't you act your age for once? Still, to foil my lupine attacks so easily, you're more skilled than you seem. Nah, 
It's just a trick I learned from my dad. From your father? What was his name? Dorgan. Holy! What? What are you making those faces for? No way! You can't be! Dorgan's son? Um, dad's name was Dorgan, and I'm his son, so what's going on? Well, small worlds we live in, huh? Bartz, your father, along with me, Kelger, and Zizat, Exat, Zizat, Zat, Zat, Zizat, Zizat, Zat, Exat, Zat, Exat, 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 Exotic. So, uh, me, Kelger, and Exotic, Surrogate, whatever, we fought together against X Death. Dorgan was one of the four Dawn Warriors. Wait, Dad's from this world? Correct. We followed X Death to your world, and then. Is this guy immortal? How much punishment can he take? Even when we knock him down, he won't stay down. We'll have to seal him here. Yeah, that's our only out. What? Seal him here? We can't just leave a demon from our world in another. What other choice do we have? Look sharp, lads. He's recovering. Damnation. Now there really is no choice. He must be sealed, and we may not get this chance again. Time to put you in the cupboard, Teapot. Dorgan, we can't seal him with the crystals unless all our hearts are united. Are you with us? Dorgan. You are certain you want to stay? My mind's made up. But why? Safe journey. Someone had to stay back to make sure everything was okay? Dorgan! You just gonna leave him sealed? Unchecked, unaccounted for. Dorgan stayed in your world to watch over X Death Seal. Wow, that, huh? How fares old Dorgan, anyway? Three years ago, he got real sick, and, well, I see. My sympathies, son of Dorgan. Anything you ask of me shall be done. You need only name your request. Actually, if we could get into Drakenvale, I will have one of the villagers unlock the gate. Alright. So, yeah. Z, 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 blah, blah. Sometimes in the Japanese language, X is Z. It could be Zhao. It could be you zang, zhang, I, you zizhat, I don't know how you want to say it. Whatever, moving on. So. Alright. Hmm.
Hmm. Loss of agility. Magic defense. Hmm, I'll go ahead and do it for now. Again, loss of agility, but a nice strength boost. Equipment weight is a lot better. Alright, let's go ahead and do it. Power Sash is all around. Nope, I didn't mean to do that. Alright. Get another Golden Helm. Alright, got a new ninja weapon. Dachi. And we can buy our scrolls. Which means I get to use scrolls again a little bit more freely. Yeah. Alright, nothing else of importance. So, yeah, I think I'll go ahead and buy two of those. Again, I'm not going to be using the Dancing Dagger, especially in the next place, and I'll explain why in a little bit. So we'll go ahead and buy another one of those. And give everybody the power sash for now. And something for you. Oops. Power sash. Golden. And one more. Oop, wrong person. Blech. All right, looking good. Got our agility back up a little bit using the new Kadachi. So we're back up to 42. Everyone's at least 30. Kinda would like the bar to be a little faster though. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I want the bar to be a little faster because I want to be able to stop sooner. Dancing Dagger might actually be good for that. Yeah, I'm not gonna use it extra to fight, so. Let's do that. The sooner I get the enemies to stop moving, the better. Okay, I can okay, I come on, just kinda want you to go. Alright. So we talked to this guy up here. Not only will he heal me, he'll give me Yes, yes, yes! Dessert is on the house. Eight potions. Eight potions. Oops. Oops. And he'll do it three times. So I'll get 24 potions out of this. Might as well go ahead and take them. Yes, yes, yes. Last time I can do it. Again, like I said, nice little things they do in this game. It's constant. Every town has something. I haven't shown off everything. We missed a lot, but without the need for it, it just seemed a little pointless. There's a lot of side quests for summons and special stuff, weapons, but if we can't use it, there's no point. So, now I'm going to buy a bunch of high potions. Because unfortunately, this is going to be my only way of healing. Alright. So 
Still got a little bit of money left over. I'm gonna use it on some cottages. And that's it. We're out of money. Literally. Woohoo! Broke! I can't afford to do nothing! Now, there's one last thing of importance here, and I mean very much important. Which one of you has it? I'll give you this song. It's quite effective against the undead. The Requiem. And yes, I will be using that in the next dungeon, which is has a lot of undead with a lot of life. And that's 2,000 damage a hit. So, with two people who can sing, this next place shouldn't be so bad. Alright, we're fully healed up, we're fully equipped up, we're broke. We don't have a penny to our name. Sounds like the perfect start. Let's go. Alright, saved and ready to enter. Don't have any money, but it's okay, cause we'll earn some. Ah, this guy punches me in the face and runs away. Lovely! Hey, look at that, we got money already. Didn't even have to fight. Can't believe that guy just punched me in the face. Lichen. Ah. Alright. Didn't mean to actually jump. It was still locked on that from before. So if you can see, we're actually doing some damage this time around. With our new weapons and a couple level ups we got, we can actually take out these enemies. Sometimes. Okay. Alright, so like example, zombie dragon. I'm gonna sing, but not Romeo, I'm gonna sing Requiem. Eighteen hundred eight. I'm not going to attack, I'm going to Requiem. Because it does more damage. 11.55. Now again, it's going to be based off magic stat and Ferris isn't really going to have much. But we take what we can get in this game. Great! Shocker there. Come on, Lena. Get in there. Get that bird out at least.
I don't know if it's as off-putting to you as it is to me, but yes, the Bard, who uses a harp as a weapon, is the strongest player in this dungeon. Lovely! Preemptive! I'm gonna do that. Seems like Lena has a little bit easier time hitting the birds. So that way Bart's can hit Drippy. And fail to take him out. Yeah, maybe I should just stick with the pattern of Lana taking out Drippy. And see if Bart's can man up and do his job. Golf oh, gained a level, which means the others are right behind. But, oops, we're not doing too bad so far getting through this. Aha, there's the other guy, the Bone Dragon. The other undead threat here. Mr. Bone Dragon over there has a move called Bone, where he throws a bone at us and takes us down to single digits. He's a jerk! Luckily, he doesn't have that much life, but it doesn't matter. That move, if he's able to get it off, really sucks. Alright, everyone else got their level. Okay, Bone Dragon's out before he's got a chance. Now it's just... Drippy and I. Finish it off, huh? Alright, look, it's our friend. Oops, I probably should hit the zombie dragon. As you can see, how much defense the bone dragon has. Help! You gotta help me! Why? You punched me in the face and ran. Why should I help you? Anytime now, Gollum. Get your turn. Thanks a ton! I'd rock if I could roll along with you. And you know what? Mr. Gollum here is actually awesome! Too bad we can't use him. Mr. Gollum buddy over here... ...actually puts up a defense wall for my party. And, with, and blocks quite a bit of physical attacks. 
Over here we find Bone Mail. Bone Mail is really awesome armor. As you can see. Well, let's look at some. Well, anyway, you can see it go up by a 19 defense and it's a magic defense. There's a problem though. Bone Mail, if you're wearing it, you become like a corpse, which means like zombie. Healing and revive hurts you. If you're dead, you cannot be revived. If someone tries to cast revive on you, or heal you, yeah. But if they cast death on you, you'll get your life back. It's really a risky armor to play. It's not for everybody. But there are some great strategies you can do with it. And again, that's what this game's all about. Different approaches. Hmm. Well, it looks like a dead end, except... Ah! Treasure! Hit the switch. And boom, we got a new path. Okay, we're gonna go left first to get some treasure. Oh, Mr. Zombie. We've been expecting you. We have a nice Requiem song just for you. Finished off, Farts. Farts! Come on, man. Don't give the dragon a chance to do anything. Wind Slash. Hypno Crown. Yeah. Probably not gonna use it, though. All right, moving on. All right. Everyone knows what to do. You know, and I'm really not impressed with Dragoon. Again. Look at Len over there, kicking butt. Alright, well, we got the ability to equip lances. Whoop do. Right, look at Len over there, kicking butt. Bart's can't hold up his end of the bargain. Not a fan. Alright, we're not really too much. It's gonna be... Requiem for the win.
I mean, I will admit that Jump seems to be faster in this version than the other Final Fantasies I've seen. Doesn't mean it makes it better. In Final Fantasy VI, I hated the fact they made Mog basically a Dragoon. I love Mog. I like his dances, I think he's fun to play. But... Anyone who uses Mog ends up turning him into a jumping Moogle. And it just doesn't seem interesting to me. Alright, Barts, you really need to get stronger. I really need you to help out with these dragons. I mean, you're a Dragoon for crying out loud. You'd think they'd be kicking their butt. Some kind of special move. Alright, save point. I'll go ahead and save. I'm not worried about tenting. The boss is not an issue. Another boss that if you know how to, to how to handle it, it's not a problem. Look! Dragon grass! Ah! Help! Get them away! What the crap was that? Grass isn't supposed to attack people. That's no grass. That's a beast. A foul, leafy demon. This must be why all the drakes are extinct. Alright, Dragon Pod. As long as you take out the plants it generates, the Dragon Pod will do nothing but recreate them. So, that's what we're gonna do. Alright, we're gonna keep up with Romeo Ballad. 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 Excuse my misspeaking. And. Actually, go ahead and jump. We're gonna throw. God, it's been a while. I remember if it was fire or it was lightning. That works. Alright, Bards, you stay on. <sighs> Throwing while Lena does the heavy work. And Ferris helps out. Gonna kinda give it a second. Alright, well, if you're not gonna do nothing, I guess the boss must have got affected by stock. So that worked out in my favor. So as long as it's in my favor, let's take it out. Made this boss even easier. Granted, status ailments on bosses are not guarantees. Even if an enemy can be uh, instant death or turn to stone, it doesn't mean that it's going to always work. Okay, the deed is done. Got an elixir. The dragon grass! Look! Come on, let's take some and go. But of course, it just turns into dragon grass. Because, you know, it was a monster in disguise. 
Because, you know, a leaf bug would just turn into, you know, a leaf when you kill it. Because that's how it works, right? Just because it's in the skies, camouflage, doesn't mean that it's going to actually turn into what it's disguised as when it dies. Ah, my bad. I probably should have. Yep, that's gonna suck for me. I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing. I'm making careless mistakes right now because I'm chatting away, not paying attention. I'm supposed to be doing Requiem. But at least you got to see what I was talking about by the bone move. So it worked out. So let's get Lena's poison cured. Let's get Bards' life back up. You know, I just cured poison. Wow, the foul size is actually kind of small for some reason this time around. We've been going for almost 38 minutes and not even a full 800 megabytes. So I guess we can keep going for a little bit longer and at least get to the, uh, get out of this place. So that'll be what I'm doing. Getting out of this place, getting back to town, restocking on some items, sleeping at the inn, wrapping up for the night. <laughs> ah, yeah. And the dope. Okay. Let's hope we can actually take this out successfully as a team. Lena, over a thousand damage. Gala, well over a thousand damage. 1800. Change. 1848. There. 1155. Over a thousand. Farts! As a dragoon! 41 fail. Well, I'm going to chalk that up to a slow death. Alright, let's get out of here. Really? Get back to stopping them in the tracks. Lena, you gonna take that? They just showed you up. Finish this. The beautiful thing about a time age is we could just warp out of here. That would be really nice. But no, every dungeon we do, 
that doesn't take us out automatically will require us to walk out. Wasting more time. Eh, I figured as much. Alright, back to Requiem we go. So you guys, you can see the bar has some uses. It may not be able to take a hit very well. Or dish out a hit very well. Um, it may not be very impressive in stats. But the songs are actually useful in this game. <sighs> I wish this game was a little bit more like Earthbound, where once I finish a dungeon, the monsters leave me alone, and I can just walk out. Yeah, you could still fight, but they avoid you, so you could just walk right past them all. And I should finish it. Alright, almost out. Speaking of Earthbound... Oh, pfft, one. Really? Ah... I really enjoyed playing that with my daughter. <sighs> Got quite a few laughs out of that game. And I recommend it for anyone who ever wants to play a strange but unique and very entertaining RPG. Approaching the 45 minute mark and approaching the 1 gig size, so we're almost done. And I can see the exit! And I can see the town! And I actually made it without a battle, wow. I know the sprite limitation is high here, but man, it's really bogging down. I'm gonna save my money and I'm gonna replenish the antidotes. Didn't really need to use much in terms of scrolls. So I'll go ahead and replace the one fire I did throw. And I 
I think it was the other guy, right? Uh, yeah, pulled up. Let's actually go to the weapon side. Alright. Oh, real quick. Frog! A frog! Will ya please bring me a frog? Come on, bring one! I gotta have one! Which is a quest we can't do without Beastmaster, but again, lovely game. Constant side quests everywhere. All for nice stuff. But if we are not able to use it, seems a little silly. Alright, saving the game. Alright, I think that's going to do it for tonight. 47 minutes in. Alright. Thank you for watching.